In this video, we'll see how to use the automatic structure creation tool in Breeze XDAM to build a basic structure. You'll be able to see in some of our other videos how you can modify the structure and how to take it all the way to a completed explosion modeling run. So what we will do in this demo is in the structures tab, we will create a new building out of a solid block and we'll divide that up using the building, um, the shapes buildings tool into a multi-room building with windows and people. It's, this is the easiest way to create a fully formed building, realistic building in XDAM. So to start with, we will create a block that has the exterior dimensions of the building that we want to create in XDAM. Let's say that we want the length in the east-west direction, the x direction, to be, to be 20 meters. So I'm going to set the minimum x to 0, the maximum x to 20, so the length of the building will be 20 meters. Then the minimum y will be 0, and the maximum y, I'll leave that at 10. That's going to make the, in the y direction, the length of the building will be 10 meters starting at coordinate 0 and going to coordinate 10. Then in the Z direction, the structure will start at ground level at 0. And let's make this 5 meters tall. So I'm going to change the maximum Z, the maximum height, to 5. So now I've set the basic parameters, the basic dimensions for this new structure. I just click the Add button. And you see now we have this block created. If I go to the selection properties, go into structure subblock and click on length. This shows you the X, Y, and Z length of the block that I have selected. So this tells me that I the length is 20 meters in the X direction, 10 meters in the Y direction, and five meters in the Z direction. So what we'll do next is we're going to set the parameters for the buildings tool. Under shapes, buildings, this is the button that we'll use to actually create the building to, to divide this block up into the various building components. But before we do that, we want to go to the edit properties here. So I click on edit in this properties area. And we want to go under shapes and then to building and specify the characteristics of the building that we want to break this block up into. In this case, we have a building that is longer in the x direction and shorter in the y direction. So let's say that we want this to be divided up into four rooms on the east-west side and then two rooms on the north-south side. To do that, I can set the number of inner walls so the inner wall number on the X direction allows me to control how many rooms the building will be broken in, up into in the east-west direction. And then the inner wall number Y allows me to set how many rooms there will be in the Y direction. So to create four rooms in the X direction in this building, I need three interior walls. So I'm going to change the inner wall number to three. Then to create just two rooms, in the Y direction, I just want there to be one interior wall that's going to divide that up into two rooms. So now I'm going to have basically a two room by four room buildings. This will create eight equally sized rooms. Now I can also set the thickness of the floor and the ceiling. Let's say that the Floor thickness is 0.4 meters and the ceiling width thickness is also 0.4 meters. Let's set those parameters. Outer wall width, let's also make that 0.4 meters. Now the inner walls will probably be thinner than the outer walls. So we will go ahead and leave those set to 0.2 meters. All right, so now I have the walls all set the way I want. Next we can edit the windows. So if we want one window per room, so there are four rooms on this side of the building, if we want four windows, one per room, then I'll set the per room X to, to equal to one. Let's say that I want no windows on this side of the building. Then the per
program Y for Windows, I'm going to set that to zero. So this will only put walls on this side, the south facing side, and this side, the north facing side of this building. Next, we can change the height of the windows, the top to bottom height of the windows. The building is five meters, so let's say we want the window height to be two meters. And then the width of the windows, let's say we want that to also be two meters. So I can set, I'll set both of these values to two meters. This is the thickness of the window, we'll leave that at 0 0.05. And then the base height, this is the height above the base of the wall where the window will be located. Let's say that's going to be two meters above the bottom, the floor. The last thing I can set in the building parameters will be the number of people per room. So if I leave both these set to one, then that will put one person in each room. So with those parameters selected, now I can just go to Shapes and select Buildings. And you see if I unselect it to make it a little bit clearer, you'll see we've created the building that we described with these options here. So you have windows, one per room for each of the four rooms on the east and west sides, and then on the north and south sides. It's just blank, no, no windows, because I set the window number to zero for those sides. Now, let's, to look inside, I'm going to select the roof block by just clicking on it. And now if you press the H key on the keyboard, that will hide whatever you have selected. So now I can see inside where, as I requested, the program has placed one person per room in the center of the room. In this video, you've seen how to use some of the automatic structure creation tools in Breeze XDAM to create a basic structure. Be sure to check out our other videos and the help manual for the program for more information on how to use the other features of the program.